Um, I think they should ask for some material that they've done um, and a range of things. Um, uh, and and I'm, I'm trying to stay <laughs> on your question because I'm starting to, to drift. I think that um, they should meet with them and have a conversation with them and try to, uh, it's, it's a relationship. So if they don't, if they can't get along with that person at some level or find some common ground or, or find some point of trust, then it's a, it's a relationship that is not destined to be successful. It's not necessarily going to be unsuccessful, but it may not be successful. Because after all, anybody can engineer. <laughs> um, but if you want it to, to leap into that other area, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the relationship that the, the producer has with the engineer. So. And then, of course, it's the working situation. Um, so I think that just like engineers are, uh, are open to getting work but want to get paid and will very often um, uh, say, well, let's do the project, I'll do it for this. And then if we decide to work together, then it's going to be this rate. So basically, you know, create a, a, safe, a safe place where the producer can evaluate the engineer. I think in the same way, the engineer is evaluating the producer. Um, because ultimately, you want to have a graceful way of getting out. You know, it's this a business where you meet the same people over and over again. Um, and uh, you got to appreciate that everybody doesn't work well together. But if you burn a bridge, well, you know, that, that tends to, will tend to have more effect on your reputation down the line than if you just understood that it's not a mix that's going to work. So um, I would say listen a lot listen to things. Now, from the engineering standpoint, I've had lots of students ask, well, how do you, what if you don't like the sounds, you don't think it sounds good, and how do you ask somebody not to put your name on the, on the record? And, um, and those, are, those are good questions. Um, one of my colleagues say, well, for the records that he didn't want his name on, he had an alias. Um, but I say, um, my question, well, who's going to hear it? You know, I mean, <laughs> it's like, I mean, if somebody hears it and it's successful, you kind of want your name on it. Um, and the other side is that it's that it's not your your career is not defined by this one thing. So, so when I say listen to work, that that probably that work ideally would span across a multitude of things that don't necessarily define this person, but define their capabilities as an engineer. Is that like I've done this kind of work, I've done this, and are they all going to sound good? Well, maybe, probably not. But it's an example of like I can handle many different things. And the producer should understand that as they're listening to many different things. It's like the engineer isn't the one who decides what it sounds like. And if you're hiring an engineer and that's what they claim, I don't think you really want them as an engineer because they're not going to be playing the game. They're going to be too verbal and they're not, they're not an engineer. They're an engineer who wants to be a producer. So figure out what you want, listen to a lot of stuff and understand that uh, as a producer or as an engineer, you're going to be having your hands on lots of different material and they don't necessarily define who you are.